Hey, what's up, everybody? Another pickups video for you guys, and uh, sorry if I seem exhausted. This is my third take of this vid. I'm having a hard time. Um, I'm making this video definitely on borrowed time at this point, so I'm going to try to go fast. It's not a big pickups vid anyway, but I got some pretty cool stuff, including a, a game system that I... I've had one before, but I've never gotten to actually play on it, because the one that I had was messed up, and that might give it away for some of my older viewers. A very historic console for my channel because I've talked about it a lot. I've wanted it a lot for a long time. And I'll just show it right now. So, got myself a PS3 Slim, finally. And uh, it's an awesome condition. There is hardly a scratch on this thing. There's a couple of very light things, very small imperfections. Like there's a, uh, must be on the other side. There's a very small nick right there. I don't know if it's going to show up or not. Man, this camera sucks. There's a small nick. And there's a very small scuff on the front. Again, you're never going to freaking see it. This camera sucks, and the way I'm lighting the video up also sucks because it was too bright. But nonetheless, um, it's in very good shape. More than acceptable for me as a collector and just for in general. It's not all banged up. The fans are nice and clean. The back's clean. It does make my fingerprints look like scuffs, but they're not. The model number on it is CECH2501, which means that it still has the glossy surround, so the front and the sides are glossy. The PlayStation logo is raised, and the power on off button and the eject button light up white. The later slims don't do that. The ones from 2011 and 12 don't do that. This thing came with I think a 160 gig hard drive um, and I immediately opened it up. I took the hard drive out of my broken Xbox One S and put it in this so I got a one terabyte hard drive right off the bat. So pretty cool on that. But what really makes this thing cool because it's a 2501 with those things, it's hit or miss as to whether your console will support CFW. This one does. So it has been modded. I modded this thing right away. And uh, I've done a lot of different things with it already. I've gotten a lot of games on it. It's a very good thing that I was able to put that one terabyte hard drive in it. Because I'm already using up like 910 gig of it. I have almost no space left now. Which kind of sucks, but... So I originally had planned to put a uh, 320 gig in it. That would have been nothing at all. It would have sucked. But I got lucky. <laughs> so that's very cool. I'm very glad to have that. It's in very good shape. It runs very well. The fan, it does run nice and cool once I got Webman installed. And I was able to put the fan up a little higher because the default setting always bakes those damn things. But um, it, it runs quiet. It runs cool. It runs very good. Um... The only thing that's a discrepancy, because the way this thing looked, it looked like it hadn't been used in years, because um, the only thing that I had noticed, because when I looked at the listing, this is something that I bought online, um, I noticed that the clock said 1-1 at like 12.06 a.m., so I figured CMOS battery is probably dead in it. When I got it, though, it said 1-5, which means it had kept the time, and it had kept the time in the cold, which is a good sign. So it looks like that CMOS battery isn't dead, I could obviously replace it nonetheless, but I don't see any need to open this thing right now. Um, and it was on an old enough firmware version that it hadn't been turned on in like three or four years. So that's what I'm thinking, man. Just packed away and hadn't been used for years, which is good. But then this is the discrepancy. So here's the controller. Some, it is a little scuffed, like you can kind of see it to look at it under light, but it's not bad at all. Very good shape controller. I'm trying to show. Very good shape controller overall. And the battery is still good. You can tell it is an old battery, but it, it still does last long enough. So I won't replace it just yet. Um, sticks are good. No drift. No random button inputs yet. Nothing. So it works good, which is excellent. The only thing is, it's a 6-axis, not, not a DualShock 3 which means no vibration and it is a very light controller and it also means that this controller did not come with that system because this would be from like early 2008 or before so it's not the original controller but it is a real controller 
and it works good and that's all that matters because for PS3's man finding good working controllers is getting tough as shit there are fakes everywhere it's the same deal with the 360 now which sucks especially because the 360 controllers I have five consoles and no working controllers because they're all broken because the stupid ass left stick that keeps shredding itself that stupid plastic post just disintegrates but um so hope to hell this controller keeps working man that's all I can say because getting a new one would suck so I did a hundred for it which I consider very good g given how lucky I was with the CFW and the general condition of the thing um, I hadn't been looking for anything in particular I originally thought I was gonna get a super slim this thing's way nicer in every way I don't really like the way the super slim looks I think this thing looks better than any other model of PS3 and, uh, it's one of the most reliable slims the early ones are basically just fats they have the same defective capacitors and everything so very nice to have a good reliable slim with CFW because CFW does make my life a lot freaking easier with mods did get some games with it too some of these are games that I did want which is nice others are just whatever Gran Turismo 5 Prologue. Let me put this down so I can show. Has an ad for the PSP in the manual. Wanted that one. Obviously the, the actual game is better and then Gran Turismo 6 I think is even better. Kill Zone 2 does have sticker remnants on the front and back. Otherwise it's good. And it does have the greatest hits disc, but it is what it is. So. Sony is a place on earth, you remember that one? <laughs> that video hasn't even been re-uploaded on YouTube, but I still have it on my computer. Maybe I'll put it up someday. GTA 4, again with a bit of sticker remnant there. Has the map and the manual. They're all complete, so from this point on I won't open them. Modern Warfare 3. Tiger Woods 2013. Um, good game. I like 14. I'll probably get 14 for this thing because that's a much better game. One of the best playing golf games ever made. 2004 has more personality, but 14 plays great. Great graphics, too. Um, and then <laughs> Madden 13 or Bust. The game's not very good. But there you go. So that's what I got, man. I'm pretty happy with it. This was a birthday present for myself because I've always wanted one. Um, otherwise, got a couple of things here. These are actually from like January. I haven't been getting much lately and I'll get into that. Got some more PS2 stuff. I already had this game, but it's a black label copy. ATV Off-Road Fury, great game. Battlefield 2 Modern Combat. MLB 2K5, weird freaking game, I'm not a huge fan of this one, and it's right at the point when they rebranded it to 2K Sports. I think the quality of these games went down just massively, a lot of people don't agree with me, but whatever. Um, and then another one, ESPN Basketball 2K4, I have this game for the original Xbox, I've had it for years, some of you might know. What's really interesting about this though is that it doesn't actually say 2K4 on the, the case or the spine, on the Xbox it does. It does say it on the manual though, hopefully you can see that. So pretty cool to finally have that. All in good shape, all in very good shape. Got a computer game here, and <laughs> once again, Tiger Woods. Got Tiger Woods 2003 for the PC for 99 cents, so kinda cool. I'm not really a huge fan of playing those games on a computer, it's just not my thing, but cool to have. That's it for games. Now this is the last pickup. Again, I don't have much. <laughs> and this isn't a huge deal, but for some of my knife collector fans out there, this is the first time I've ever had the chance to buy one of these ever, because every time I find one at a pawn shop, whatever the case may be, they want hundreds and hundreds of dollars for one, because they have high-end stuff. 
or what I see online and at different places is just these freaking neon rainbow colored freaking CSGO knives with a rubber blade or dulled blade or whatever crap that I don't want to ever see again. But got myself my first real Bali song. It's just a cheap Chinese blade, nothing special about it at all. No unique identification at all. But now I have one, it was like 10 bucks, so. Which, it is what it is. I bought it from somebody that I know, just kind of to support them, just because I thought it was cool to finally see one out in the wild that wasn't $300. So now I can say I have a Bali song. I'd like to get something high end eventually. That is one of my goals, but for now. And yeah, you can tell it for flipping this, you would want to loosen it. It's very, very tight. And you can just kind of see that the way that it is. It's just, yeah, it's not great. It's not a terribly sharp blade either, but it is usable for basic stuff. I don't imagine I really will use it because I have plenty of knives in use already. But um, yeah, pretty cool. So like I say, I would loosen it up to flip it, but for flicking it open, it's it's plain fine. So yeah, kind of cool. Again, not like a deal or anything. I just thought it was kind of neat. Around here, where I am, there's a bit of a knife culture, and the laws are very good for carrying. So knives are expensive. Anything like that, bayonet, swords. I would love to own some of that stuff, but never will. Never freaking will at a good price. I'm going to go hunting in other states is what I'm thinking eventually. Because around here, nothing. Nothing. And I've been looking for seven, eight years. So, again, online prices just suck. So it is what it is. Otherwise, I'm exhausted. I'm doing this video totally on borrowed time. I need to get the hell out of here. Um, and that's just what I wanted to say real quick, though. Uh, in terms of when the next pickups vid is going to be, I have no idea whatsoever. It could be later this year, as uh, I don't have much money to just throw at stuff anymore. Like I said, this was a birthday present, and most of that stuff was from, like, January. I haven't been getting much. I haven't been doing much, because I have other priorities. I have other things I need to take care of. I have a life that I need to get on with, um, which is all stuff that I've said in more recent vids. Just I'm busy. I have financial priorities. Um, and things probably won't slow down for a couple of years when I'm all settled down. And uh, I'll be able to, at that point, I'll be able to build a cool collection room because I'm out of space in this little freaking room. But next time I go around, it won't be a bedroom. I'll build an actual dedicated room because I won't need the single bed. And um, I'll be able to add more shelves and get my big flat screen set up and have my small one still set up and then this guy. And then I can have the other CRT set up, try to get it working good again and I'll build a cool collector room and then I can go from there with adding more stuff. But for now, I'm not really hunting much because I don't have time. And uh, it, it's just, not, I don't get much stuff anymore. I don't really have the free money flowing and I don't have the ability to get out as much. So it is gonna be a lot slower with pickups vids. I don't know when the next one's gonna be, so I'm sorry to disappoint anybody with that. It just, it is what it is. I can't make a pickups vid if I don't have pickups and that's just where it is. So it might be a while. Um, the next pickups vid might be huge, so it might be a good one, but it will probably be quite some time. I will have some other stuff coming out. I have some cool vids, just kind of fun stuff coming out. I try to have a variety of content, but it's just tough when there's not really much going on in terms of hobbyist stuff. I'm just too busy with other stuff offline that I, I don't really get much free time to to be creative and do cool vids anymore. So It is what it is, but... That's one more hurrah for the old style pickups vid for a while. So, hope you all enjoyed it. Um, I might do a vid on the modded PS3 if you guys want. Uh, I could do another showcase vid showing what I've done with it and some of the caveats with that system. Otherwise, uh, I don't know when the next vid will be, so catch you guys later.